our today's topic is fact and different kinds of fact and their relationship let me share with you to appreciate the fundamental principles of evidence act one's understanding of the meaning of fact relevant fact and fact in issue must be clear and unquestionable unless one's understanding is thorough and perfect it is rather difficult to appreciate the entire indian evidence act this tutorial explains what is meant by fact what is meant by relevant fact what is meant by fact in issue let me share with you indian evidence act clearly defines what is meant by fact it also clearly says a fact cannot be read in evidence i will repeat according to indian evidence act anything can be fact it can be purchasing a vehicle purchasing a knife getting a dream or uh, imagining something witchcraft anything anything can be a fact but every fact shall not be recorded shall not be received in evidence in order to determine a guilt in order to determine a right the point is very clear though indian evidence act defines what is meant by a fact every fact does not automatically amounts or can be taken as a thing in order to determine right or liability only those facts which are expressly declared or recognized to be used to determine guilt or liability can alone be used those facts which are expressly declared or recognized by law to prove a liability to determine a right are called relevant facts we will find those relevant facts under section 6255 of indian evidence act this chapter is also known as theory of relevancy and next is fact in issue every fact in issue is a relevant fact but the difference between relevant fact and fact in issue is like this if such relevant fact if the proof of such relevant fact determines right or liability that relevant fact is called fact in issue this is dealt under section 13 of indian evidence act let me also share with you by way of an illustration accused is charged with an offense under section 302 ipc the question that whether accused killed the deceased victim or not that fact is called fact in issue the day prior to the happening of the incident the accused purchased a knife that was seen by the witness that fact is called a relevant fact because that fact indicates previous conduct and it is also recognized under evidence act under section 8 of the act therefore the mere proof of a relevant fact does not help in determining the liability but the proof of a fact in issue would help in establishing liability thus relevant facts other than the fact in issue will either help in determining the guilt or rebutting the proof that is trying to be sought for so the point is very clear every fact in issue is a relevant fact but every relevant fact need not be a fact in issue so the point is in the court of law in order to prove a case or disprove a case what we have to place before the court is relevant facts not all facts that's the end of the class